Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creations channel. In this video, I want to discuss blueprints with you. How do we get blueprints? Where do we get them from? Um, as you can see, I've entered blueprints in my browser. And um, on the second one here, there's a, there's a website called theblueprints.com. So if I open that up, I mean, whilst this is loading up, um, perhaps it'd be best to have a preconceived idea of the sort of car you want. Anyway, we've got the screen in front of us, the blueprints.com. So if you go to the blueprints database, and click on cars. Okay, there's quite a lot of cars on here. Um, in this area, the Blueprints database, um, I think all of the, the Blueprints are free, free of charge, so free for you to download them and enter them into your preferred paint package. I tend to use GIMP, G-I-M-P, which is quite a good one for um, splitting the blueprints up and getting and saving them ready to import into Blender or you can go to vector gra drawings which are higher quality but that higher quality tends to carry a premium and you can get them for as we see here if I just click on there quickly so you, you, you buy credits and whatever so if you typically click on this one just as an example apologize about the speed that's opening but uh, there we go so if we look for a, a typical car so there's 13 credits so you purchase them in credits and those 13 credits are worth $20. Okay. Anyway, we, we, for this, um, for this video, are not going to, um, look at uh, vectors. We're going into the blueprints database. So click into there. Go and click onto cars. And in this instance, I've come in, I, I've come here with an idea of what I want to look for. Um, I want to look for a Buick. So click into Buick. And it will be a GSX 455. So if we go down here, as you can see, there's um, quite a few. Just to explain, before we open one, just to explain this. So the... The blueprints are arranged front, top, rear and side. Now for modelling in Blender or, or any other package really I would, I would prefer to have all of those four boxes ticked. So you've got a front view, a top view, a side view and a rear view. Okay. Um, you can model um, with a couple of sides but I think you'll need quite a few more reference images and there'll be a lot of guesswork in, in your modeling. Anyway, coming down here, um, the first one I'll look at is the GSX 1969. Well, I'm not gonna look at that because it's got a view missing. So we'll open this one up. The other thing to note is that these signs are the picture size. Now, I tend to go for the, the largest picture size because by the largest picture size it would be the better quality so for instance if we open this one and I've looked at these previously these are, are fairly clear blueprints but you can see there's the, the the quality is quite good but if we go back And um, if we go into the, the larger one, which is this one. Uh, 
There we go, the, the drawings are, are, are much bigger and the clarity is, and you can get, uh, you can get it up size bigger, but the clarity, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for clear lines to model against. Okay. So, these, these actual blueprints are really, really good. Um, the other website to look for, I mean, I won't open it up now, but the other website to look for is Get. It's called Get Outlines. That is a reasonable one, based on the same sort of principles as the blueprints.com. Um, the blueprints.com are a much better, well, it's a larger database in my opinion. Um, the other thing to do, so we've got that We've got that GSX 455 and we've downloaded it into a paint package. Again, I'll show you that in another video as, as to how to use that. But say we want, um, we've, we've got the blueprints, but now we'll need some, some images because some reference images. So images that you can have on the screen at the same time as you're modeling so that you can look for the unique pieces on a car it's all very well looking at lines, but when you can actually see the curvature of the car and pick up any points that you think you could model into, that that's important that you model into you, your, your vehicle, um, it's always good to look at it. So if I do a quick search on Buick GSX 455. Okay, we'll just look for a few images which I would think are good to include. Get as many images as you can. So here's a, here's a good selection. And look for the highest resolution you can as well. So this one is, is pretty well photographed. As you can see, there's loads of views. So I would just simply go in there and save the picture to your hard drive. Okay, just look. Um, even without blueprints, you could model. So if you get a, an orthographic view, what I mean of, of an orthographic view, if you're looking from the front, front, okay, the wheels, the front and back wheels should be completely horizontal, okay, across, so they should be on the same level at the, at the front and the back, and also not tilt in from side to side. So that's what I would call a, an orthographic view. You're very lucky to get orth orthographic views. Um, I mean, that looks pretty near, but there's quite a bit of perspective depending on where the camera angle is. But these these are a good videos to uh, good images to to download to your machine, and you can pick up little things like this. So if you downloaded this, that would show you a give you a wealth of information of of the curvature etc and sometimes when you're looking at lines on a on a blueprint it's hard to tell um, what it actually means until you open up an image or, or see a car in the flesh the other the other room um, idea for, for getting blueprints depends what you want to model really is um, there's a wealth of information on um, toy cars and a lot of those cars are photographed um, in an orthographic way. So you might be able to model direct from images as long as you scale them up in the, in the right direction. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, I will be putting more, um, more things on, on my channel. Um, sort of laid back, slow type. Um, videos in terms of trying to get people to understand rather than just race away and describe it very quickly and you can't sort of follow anyway please hit the like button and if you if you um, and subscribe if you're new thank you very much